hi everyone in this video we will see how can we create SLAs in service now so SLAs are service level agreements and according to wiki definition uh, SLA is a commitment between a service provider and a client particular aspect of the service quality availability and responsibilities are agreed between service provider and the user so basically if there is a service there will be a contract or a commitment between the service provider and the client so service provider can be a third party or maybe an internal team for example if uh, if an application is down let's take some HR workday application is down so whosoever team is responsible for that they have to resolve that issue within that particular time which has been agreed between the stakeholders and the technical team so this is basically the definition of SLA with an example let's go to service now and create one SLA from the scratch in service now you have to type SLA and under service level management click on SLA definitions and you will see some out of the box SLA definitions already there what you can do is go ahead and click new and maybe create one for the network team network team SLA and it will be created in under global application by default if some other application is selected it will come here and what type should be your SLA it should be SLA OLA or underpinning co contract so you can look into Wikipedia for their definitions basically they are created as same in service now and just for reporting purposes they are created differently here and that and then comes the target so whether it's a response SLA or a resolution SLA so when we select response that means the team has to respond to the ticket within some amount of time which will we will specify so for example if an incident is assigned to network team they should respond within one hour that they have seen this incident ticket and they are working on it and the resolution means that they will resolve ticket in one day or five days so it depends on what is the agreement between the client or the stakeholders so let's take an example of response so we will take an example here that if an incident is assigned to network team they have to respond within one hour so we'll do it the duration as one hour here and the next one is on which table it should be applied so you can apply it on any of the table which is derived from the task table so we'll take example of the incident table if you have any custom table which is derived from or inherited from task table you can use here that as well and next comes the flow so here you can define the workflows which should run when the SLA starts so we have already two defined out of the box called default SLA and the SLA notification so we will use the default SLA flow next one is schedule source in that in schedule you define what is the schedule of that particular team or that particular domain which they are working so for example if they are working in IST timings or EST timings or maybe um, Malaysian time so it depends on which schedule they are working or they, if you, they are working 24 7 you can select as no schedule and when you select SLA definition a new reference field comes up and you can select the schedule here if they are working 24 7 8 to 5 weekdays or America American schedule or apex schedule so it depends on your requirement so just for our example we'll take no schedule and in the third 
option uh, we have the incident field you so you can go ahead and select any of the incident fields for selecting the schedule of your SLA and we'll make this as active and under this first tab called the start condition you can actually define your condition when this L SLA should fire so I'll start with assignment group as network and maybe only for the incidents which are prioritized as one so only the incidents which are one critical the network team should respond within one hour that they have seen this incident and they are working on this the next one is the retroactive start so this basically defines that when an in incident is assigned to this team what start time should be picked up by service now as soon as I click retroactive start a new drop down is appeared and it says set start to so you can actually have any value from here uh, which which says that uh, this SLA, SLA will start from this particular date or time so let's take an example of opened so whenever uh, whatever is the date of that particular incident when it was opened it will start from that so this is required where for example an incident was opened and for next five hours it was going here and there from jumping from one team to another team but actually when it came to the network team it was already five hours so when it will come to this network team and the incident priority will be one critical and we have set the retroactive start as opened so it will mean that when uh, when this incident w will be assigned to the network team it will already be breached and similarly with the retroactive pause you can say the SLA calculation will include the pause time accumulated between retroactive start and the current time and uh, it says when to cancel uh, you can define the cancel conditions of this SLA or maybe the start conditions are not met so let's uh, for our easier purposes we'll select start conditions are not met in the next tab in the pause condition you can maybe define state is on hold so whenever the state of the incident is changed as on hold the SLA will actually pause the timing will pause and when to resume we can again say pause conditions are not met and in the stop condition when the actual actually the SLA clock should stop working or it sh the SLA sh should stop so we can define here state is resolved or maybe closed or cancelled so whenever any of these conditions are met the stop condition will fire and the SLA clock will stop and in the reset condition if you want to reset this particular SLA in case of any particular condition um, then you can use the reset conditions here I'll go ahead and click save and your new SLA is created now let's go to the incident table and try to create a new incident I'll click new and I'll keep myself as the caller and I will assign this ticket to the network team 
and if you remember I had given the priority as 1 so let's change this to 1 critical and I'll actually give the subcategory and I'll save this as soon as the incident is submitted and you scroll down to the bottom you will see our network as team SLA has been actually attached to this particular incident there are some other SLAs which were defined out of the box have also been added here but if we look our at our SLA you can see uh, it was for 1 hour and 58 minutes are left and the actual elapsed time is 1 minute and business elapsed percentage shows how much time has actually been since the ticket has been opened and it shows the actual start time so this is how you can create SLAs in ServiceNow and attach them to particular incidents thank you for watching the video uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you have any questions please let me know in, in the comments